We love to brag that the Great Lakes hold one-fifth of the world's fresh water. But here's something that Michiganders probably didn't know. Those lakes are now flipping back and forth between record heat waves and bone-chilling cold snaps, way more often than ever before. In a new study, University of Michigan scientists looked back at data since the 1940s and found these wild temperature swings have more than doubled since the late 90s. And that's a shift that scientists say could unravel ecosystems, threaten fish, and ravage Michigan's economy. This is So What Michigan, where we break down the news that actually matters here at home. So here's the deal. It's not just that the Great Lakes are getting warmer overall. They're also getting more unstable. One season may fry fish with a heat wave, the next a sudden cold snap can knock out whole populations. And for aquatic life, timing is everything. If a cold spell hits right after fish spawn, you lose a whole generation. If a heat wave rolls through shallow water, species that can't escape, cook. And it's not just the fish. These swings ripple up the food chain, into ecosystems, and eventually Michigan's economy. From charter fishing to summer weekends at the beach, where uncontrolled algae blooms and fish die-offs can close down shorelines for swimmers. This isn't me guessing. It comes straight from the Great Lakes News Collaborative, a team of independent news outlets that dug into this new University of Michigan study and found that the late 90s marked a real tipping point for the Great Lakes, when these extreme events really started to take off. And here's the bigger picture. President Donald Trump has already rolled back more environmental protections in his first 100 days than in his entire first term, with fewer environmental safeguards and less science. That includes gutting climate research and monitoring programs that Michigan scientists use to track and predict these sorts of changes over time. But at the end of the day, our Great Lakes don't care about politics. They just reflect the damage. Scientists are warning that if the Great Lakes keep heating up like this, we could even begin to lose the seasonal mixing that keeps oxygen flowing to the bottom. Translation, dead zones, where nothing survives. And once the lakes hit that point, there's no quick fix. So what? Well, this study shows our Great Lakes aren't the steady, unchanging backdrop that we think they are. The water we swim in, fish in, and drink from is caught in a climate tug of war. And every time protections get rolled back and science gets sidelined, our Great Lakes end up losing ground. The question now seems to be how long they can keep holding on. Hit follow. I'll keep the news coming.